The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. I, Paul, the prisoner in the Lord, urge you therefore to lead a life worthy of the vocation to which you were called. With all humility and gentleness and with patience, support each other in love. Take every care to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. For there is one body, one spirit, just as one hope is the goal of your calling by God. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father of all, over all, through all, and within all. On each of us, God's favor has been bestowed in whatever way Christ allotted it. And to some, his gift was that they should be apostles. To some, prophets to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, to knit God's holy people together for the work of service, to build up the body of Christ until we all reach unity in faith and knowledge of the Son of God and form the perfect man, fully mature, with the fullness of Christ himself. And our response is taken from Psalm 19. Day discourses of it today, night to night hands on the knowledge. No utterance at all, no speech, not a sound to be heard. But from the entire earth, the design stands out. And this message reaches the whole world. High above he pitched a tent for the sun, who comes forth from his pavilion like a bridegroom, delights like a champion in the course to be run. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus was walking on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. Now while he was at table in the house, it happened that a number of tax collectors and sinners came to sit at the table with Jesus and his disciples. Now when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he replied, It is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. Go and learn the meaning of these words. Mercy is what pleases me, not sacrifice. And indeed, I came to call not the upright, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord.